Gallia covers the Hundred Years' War. Uh, all of the chapters in Bill Hooks have a sort of cod Latin name to them because uh, I started calling it very, very early on Billux Dilux, so it would be Billux Gallia, Billux Helvetia, etc. So Gallia is the Hundred Years' War. It isn't just France, though. Um, it was written by uh, Simon McDowell, like me, another veteran wargamer, and Simon was a very early adopter of Bill Hooks. Indeed, within a couple of issues of the rules first appearing, he was writing articles about how to use Bill Hooks for his favourite period, which is the Hundred Years' War. Uh, and in fact, we played a couple of games by Skype during lockdown um, to uh, play through some of his ideas. Now, like in all the other chapters, the core rules remain essentially the same, but he's put a new spin on certain aspects, particularly on the English uh, longbowmen and their deadly arrow storm. So that's uh, an, an interesting little t spin on my original rules. There's also a couple of new troop types come in because I say it wasn't just in France, it moved into Spain, so you've got some light horse kinetes. You've got a new troop category called light infantry, a bit like Irish Kern. They're a bit more aggressive skirmishers, if you like. So we've got French and Bret uh, Breton um, Bidoers and Bidos, and you've got Cornish Knifemen and Welsh Knifemen as well. So they're interesting. He's also got an interesting new troop class called Rabble, which is basically uh, uh, levied uh, peasantry from uh, whoever the uh, armies happen to be passing through at the moment. Um, so again, like I say, essentially the same rules, but some interesting spin. Let's just have a look at the um, quick reference sheet, because for each, each, each of these new theatres, you will have a quick reference sheet uh, of all the different troop types and their key characteristics. So knights, knights are pretty much the same. Um, we've got crossbowmen coming in companies now rather than just operating as a skirmish. So you have 12 man crossbowmen companies. Um, their chances up against a, a mass of English longbowmen aren't going to be very good as they found at uh, Cressy, but they're still an essential part of the, of the French armies. Um, Simon puts a particular uh, spin on the battles he's, he's uh, reproducing. It's not so much the big battles like Cressy and Agincourt, because Bill Hooks was originally designed for smaller battles. People have taken it bigger, but he's got a particular interest in the chevauches, which were the um, murderous raids that uh, the English uh, um, operated in France, where they just went on a looting and pillaging um, raid, um, partly to uh, encourage the French armies to come and face them in battle. But So the scenario in there in the chapter is about a, a chevauché and what happens if a, a an, an English force returning home laden with plunder is intercepted by a, a French force. The other one is uh, an amphibious raid on the Channel Islands, which took place in the early, early 1400s. So we have uh, a chapter called uh, Bill Hooks and Rolocks there. So um, that's an ex that's an example of the um, adaptations that could be made in each of these new chapters.